So tonight we are here to honor the nation of Israel. We're here to honor the Jewish people. And we're here to honor the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Will you join us? Yeah. Let's begin by standing and we'll do it in song. Behold how good it is for brethren to dwell together in oneness. The Hebrew says it like this. What a pleasure to be in the great state of Minnesota with Pastor Mack and Lynn Hammond, who are the regional directors for Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. As Christians and Jews, we have gathered tonight to express our solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people around the world. What Christians and Jews have enjoyed over the years and had in common is far greater than the things we've allowed to separate us over the centuries. We have come to say to the Jewish people tonight that you are the apple of God's eye. You are a cherished people. You are a chosen people. You are a covenant people. And you always shall be a covenant people. If you take away the Jewish contribution from Christianity, there would be no Christianity. Judaism does not need Christianity to explain its existence. Christianity cannot explain its existence without Judaism. It's time, it's time, it's time for us to come together 
because we come from the same spiritual root. We pray to the same God. We read the same Torah. We are spiritual brothers. Let's stand side by side because Israel needs us now more than at any time in the future, in the past. There is a modern day Joshua tonight among us. It's Mayor Ron Nachman. He went to those hills when there was nothing there but barren hills that the Arabs called a death mountain. And right there where Joshua built, the modern day Joshua built a city. I honor the God of Israel. I honor the mayor of Ariel and Dina Shalit. And I honor all the parents of these young people who picked up and came back to the land of their fathers, the promised land. Our next speaker is the proud mayor of Ariel, the home of the Zion Sake Singers that, for Zion Sake Singers that we've been blessed by, Mayor Ron Nachman. Ariel is the capital of Samaria and is located in the heart of Israel. It was founded in 1978 when 40 young pioneering families, led by Mayor Nachman, took up residence on top of a rocky hill that later became the city of Ariel. These families started out in difficult conditions, to say the least, living in tents, no running water, no grocery stores nearby, and many of them had small children. So the tenacity and conviction of this group to establish a Jewish presence in this strategic area has led to a now thriving city of over 18,000 residents. Under the leadership of Mayor Nachman, Ariel has become an esteemed city bursting with opportunities for housing, education, and health care. It is now home to the largest public college and one of the fastest growing academic institutions in the country, the College of Judea and Samaria. Students from across the country attend the college. Every time we travel to Israel, we spend a few days in Ariel. The people have welcomed us and we have developed good friendships with many of its residents. So I'm now really pleased that we have the opportunity to welcome its mayor to our own community. Please help me in giving Mayor Ron Nachman a warm Minnesota welcome. God bless you. Thank you. God decided to choose the Jewish people among the different people uh, because of one thing. They said, Naase Venishma. Let us do and then listen. The Jewish people did not ask. They said, first of all, we do, and then we will listen what God wants from us. I believe, and that is what I am doing in my, uh, in my life, is that if you believe in something, it's not enough to believe. You have to do. You have to be a doer. It's very important to talk. It's very important to speak. But it is more important to do. And when you do, you learn. When you do, you get the experience. When you do, it comes into your heart, into your soul, into yourself. This is the land that God gave to the Jewish people. He didn't give them, he didn't give that, name, that land not to the Palestinians. There were no Palestinians. He didn't give it to Mr. Jacques Chirac in France, not to Tony Blair in London, not to Mr. Bush in Washington, D.C. He gave it to the Jewish people and not in 1947 and not in 1948. He gave that land by the covenant thousands of years ago and we don't need to apologize that this land belongs to us can you repeat what I say in the Bible there is no West Bank can you re can you repeat in the Bible 
There is no West Bank. In the Bible, there is now no occupied territories. In the Bible, there is no occupied territories. In the Bible, there is one and only one promise. This is the promised land. This is the promised land. Can you repeat? This is the promised land. Thank you for the study. And the third sentence that I would like to mention is the chosen book. The chosen book is the Bible, the old, con the co the old covenant. This is the chosen book. This is the cradle for all of us, Jews, non-Jews, Christians. This is the cradle of civilization. This is the beginning of the world that we know we share the same values, the Ten Commandments. Everything is coming, the prophets, everything is coming from this book. But it's not enough to read the book. We should follow the Bible and we should come to Israel and we should follow it and go to the sites where the prophets said that they are there and they exist. If you take the Bible, it's the best guidebook in the world. When you come there and you feel the atmosphere, you feel, you know, a different culture and atmosphere, it will escort you to the rest of your life. I am, as the mayor of Ariel, I am fourth generation Sabra in Israel. My family came from Odessa in 1883, like the Mayflower families in the United States. And they established a city, the flag of Zion, Nest Siona, and I decided to establish, almost 30 years ago, the city of Ariel. Why did I do it? I have no answer. I ask myself, why? What takes you as a young guy, leaving your hometown, moving to a barren hill, nothing on that, as the Arabs said, even my donkey didn't climb on this mountain. <laughs> and then start a city. Here in America, you know, the heroes of America are the pioneers, the settlers, the settlements, exactly as we are. I follow the American history. The same, but we have the history before the American. <laughs> and uh, what is the mission? I asked myself, what brought you there? Maybe after I heard all of the speakers here, I think I might have the answer. The answer that from above somebody guided me. I don't know, but I think about that, that I didn't know that I have to do it, how to do it, I didn't study it at the university, but that's what I've done. So somebody, I think, guided me and called me and said, Ron, you have to do it. That's what I had to do. That was my mission. We have the, the Islamic world today. And what do they want? They want to wipe us out of the map. And as Rani said before, we are not going to let anybody wipe us out of the map. No. Thank you. Remember one thing. We have no other country. This is the only Jewish state in the world. And with you, together we stand. With you, together we succeed. With you, if we want, that will be no legend. That will be reality. Thank you very much. Part of God's plan, bring them home. Over the sea, take my hand, follow me. You and I can succeed, bring them home.